Hey everybody and welcome to Bits of Board, where we're talking board games, miniatures, cards and dice. My name is Michael and today we are doing an unboxing of Village Attacks. This is a new arrival from Kickstarter for me and one I'm very excited to have a look at. Um, as, you know, true to my form, I've actually played this game a couple of times since I've done the unboxing and filmed all that stuff. So uh, prepare to watch a guy just Un unbox it, not really know what he's talking about, but he's going to show you the cool miniatures, and that's me. I'm going to show you some very cool miniatures at the end there. Um, so stay tuned for that, but the next video coming up after this one is going to be the, the gameplay and review sort of thing, so stay tuned for that, not too far along for that. Um, I'll see you on the other side, let's go! All right, here it is, Village Attacks. Now, of course, I've taken off the plastic for this one because I stuffed up and deleted the original unboxing stuff. So I'm just going to fake it and we're going to open it up, pretend like I just took off some plastic. Hang on. There it is. Oh, and Village Attacks, people. Beautiful box cover out there. Let's see if we can get a close up of some of the smiley faces along here. Lovely. So, underneath we have this beautiful rule book which I've spied previously. I actually read this while it was still in draft on, uh, on Kickstarter, on BGG. I can't remember if I read it afterwards or not. Anyway, uh, definitely something to look forward to. It's actually a really well laid out rule book. Um, checking it out now. They certainly didn't have all that art in there. This is beautiful. Looks like everything's well laid out. The examples are highlighted. Um, good iconography. And we've got uh, campaign scenario, maybe. I think there's scenarios or what? Yes, missions one to five. Designed to be played as a campaign. Lovely. All right. Now there's miniatures. Of course there's miniatures. It's a miniatures game. But I'm going to get rid of those because we want to have a look at the other stuff before we gorge on the beautiful miniatures here. So we have this lovely little cloth bag, which I'm sure we'll find a use for. We've got the, um, uh, the bases for character control and stuff like that. And we have pre-cut out map tiles and they're adorably little. Oh, does this mean we're not going to have a massive game footprint? Oh, I hope so. Um, Double-sided, of course. Bright, vivid colours floating through there. Oh, and some earthy tones as well. So some very nice contrasting areas. Lovely. Cool. Now, under beneath here, we have some other goodies. So I've got our custom dice floating around. Heaps good. And we have this one here. This one's blue, and we have a clear one. Look at that. Whoa. Clear dice looks so good. Now I've got these little rotary things that we're going to use for spin down dials. A couple of decks of cards floating around. There's some traps there and some enemy stuff there. I'm sure they'll come in handy when we play the game. And look, this amazing coin. Whoa. I'm sure we can afford a quick close up of that one. What do you say? Got some couple, a couple of corner pieces here. Cool. And, ah, oops. We have our player boards. Now the Banshee is the first one here. We're gonna have the, um, the abilities on the side and places to put our dice elsewhere. Cool. We have the Succubus, the Lich, the Vampire, We've got some spin down locations here so we can track the health of the castle heart, the village morale and the village event tracker down here. And then we have Dullahan. Is that right? Dullahan? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, cool. Tokens galore here. All right. So we've got some of the village hero cards um, and a bunch of other tokens floating around. We've got some rooms as well. So we do get to punch some rooms out. That's pretty sweet. They're very nice. More heroes and more abilities. Some banshee abilities here. Other tokens that I have no idea what they are used for. Dullahan and Lich stuff here. Oh, I'm so keen. I just want to pop these out and play. All right.
on to very, very exciting stuff here. The village attack miniatures. Now, I just will quickly pause in here and say I went overboard as I usually do for miniatures, uh, miniature Kickstarters. So there are plenty of expansions and Kickstarter exclusives to check out. We might check out the Kickstarter exclusives in this one. Um, but if you're keen on seeing some of those expansion bits and pieces, let me know. I'll probably put them up, but if you say you want to see them, I'm more likely to put them up sooner rather than later. Um, all right. In here we have our beautiful miniatures, and I must say, they're quite detailed, aren't they? I think, by the looks of these guys, they're multi-part. So it looks like the waistcoat there is actually sitting on the miniature of the legs and the head there, all separate pieces, so they can afford to put as much detail in as possible. Oh boy, how are we gonna do this? With gusto, right? I'm gonna get these miniatures out and we'll have a nice close look at them so you can see. Um, and we're gonna have some fun with a few as well by the looks of things because that sword is bendy. <laughs> So yeah, we'll get through them in just a sec and I'll see you in the outro. guys what beautiful minis they are very very nice um, I mean we've got a couple of alternate poses in there a couple of misshapen uh, pitchforks and some twisty swords but I'll tell you what if that's the price that we've got to pay for getting such gnarly looking miniatures I am stoked and it's nothing that a little bit of hot water uh, won't fix so that's that's brilliant for me anyway um, so like I said in the intro we've got the gameplay and review coming up very shortly so stay tuned for that. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed watching a guy open a board game and kind of show off the minis, make sure you hit that like button there. Let me know if you want to see anything up closer. But like I said, we're going to do that gameplay review very shortly. So make sure you're subscribed so you know immediately when that one comes out. Anyway, that's it for today, guys and gals. So my name is Michael. This is Bits of Board. We'll catch you next time.